Tough hop. Ramirez gets rid of it quickly. Oh no, oh no. It's like Stefan or Harry has held his position there, but it's right here. Oh. This is one of the more dangerous plays that I've seen on a baseball field. I've had tons of people reach out to me about this. We're going to show the play. You might want to look away. Then we're going to talk about the first baseman and how he could have positioned himself better to receive this throw. And then we can also talk about changes that the league could make to adding an extra base in foul territory. We've talked about that before. They have made the bases bigger already for player safety. But let's get into all of it. So here again is the ground ball. Lewis is running down the line. Catch and... Oh... He is extremely lucky that he didn't get hurt more than he did. This is really difficult to watch. We'll watch it for one more angle. So clearly could have been so much worse than it was. Really happy that Royce is okay. But let's look again at the positioning of the first baseman. Could he have positioned himself in a different way? I'm going to talk about how we teach our infielders and our first baseman to do it. So what you're normally going to see here, here's the throw. And what you're going to see from the first baseman, a right-handed first baseman is always going to anchor themselves to the part of the bag that's furthest from their glove. So they would anchor themselves to this right part of the bag right here, which he does. But you're typically going to anchor with your right foot. So your right foot will be here on the corner of the bag, and then you are going to stretch out with your left foot towards the ball. Now, if he had done that, essentially think of his right foot being right here. His left foot would end up being kind of right there, and he would catch the ball. Now, instead, he opts to put his left foot on the bag. The only real time you see this is if the ball is being thrown from the catcher or the pitcher in this direction and you need the ball to be thrown inside, first baseman will put their left foot there, they'll put their right foot out here, and they'll get themselves inside the foul line to give the catcher or the pitcher a clear throwing lane and target. So this positioning ends up working out to catch the ball, but clearly does not put him in a position to, one, protect himself, or two, protect the base runner who's coming full speed and can't stop. And again, here's another view of it. So you can see his left foot again anchored to that far part of the base, which is should be his right foot. And then he can stretch in this direction to make the catch and not be straight up the line. And here's another angle. And some people said to me, why didn't the first baseman get out of the way? Or why didn't the runner get out of the way? Well, there really isn't any time. He catches this ball right here, puts his eyes on Lewis, and there's there's nowhere to go. He can just brace himself and essentially get ran over right there. So the other option, again, is to put another base right here. They do it in softball. I don't know if it's ever going to get changed again. They changed the bases and made them bigger to help protect the base runners and the first baseman. And I know this play very, very rarely comes up. But having another base in foul territory would eliminate this play altogether. So does anything get changed? I don't know. I'm just happy that Lewis is okay. He narrowly escaped an absolutely terrible injury. So let me know your thoughts below. Should they add another base? Is there something else that can be done? I'd love to hear from you. So subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you later.